In today's Family Focus, a closer look at learning. Most students are taught through traditional lectures, but a new study from Harvard finds they actually learn best when teachers employ active learning strategies. Dr. Malik Marshall is here. Doctor, what is this? What is active learning? Okay, so traditional learning is the teacher gets up in front of the class and sort of spoon feeds information to the students and they absorb it mm -hmm. and then they're told to go off and solve some problems or answer some questions to see how much they learned. Yeah. With active learning, it's sort of reverse. The teacher will have the kids often break out into small groups, give them a problem to solve, wander around and sort of observe and maybe make some comments and then at the end of the class, we'll come back together and give a more tailored lecture to address mm -hmm some of the issues that came up when the kids were trying to solve the problem without knowing how to solve it first. Now, um, previous studies have suggested that this can be a very effective way to teach students, mm -hmm. but students and teachers have not always been convinced themselves. They haven't necessarily done it. This new Harvard study, do you think that this could convince some teachers, some professors, and the students themselves, maybe this is a way to go? They're hoping so. So what they did was they took undergraduate students who were in an introductory physics class and they broke them up into small groups they gave them a problem to solve and then had them come back and they did a lecture they took other students and they did a more traditional lecture style and that doesn't mean it has to be boring it could be entertaining and exciting there's some wonderful professors in college um, and but then they tested them and they found that the ones that used the active learning strategy actually performed better on tests even though the students themselves felt like they had learned better from hmm. the lectures. Why do they seem to prefer the lecture over this other strategy, even though it, it seems that it works better? Yeah, it's not that they hated the active learning, but it's harder, right? It's a lot easier to sit in a class and passively absorb information that's Just being delivered to you. Exactly. But in active learning, you sort of have to use your brain and try to figure things out before you're sort of given the answers. Mm -hmm. But they're hoping that information from this study will encourage teachers to employ it more often, encourage students to sort of chill out and let the process happen. I know my 14-year-old came home the other day. He just started um, school, and he's like, I don't know, this teacher, he's not teaching us anything. He just sits us down and tells us to solve a problem and then talks to us. And I'm like, hmm. <laughs> he thinks the teacher's being lazy. Right, right. <laughs> and he's like, I'm not learning anything, when in fact, I bet he's learning quite a bit. He might be learning even more than he thought. And when you said active learning, I was thinking, you know, you're doing some push-ups and <laughs> getting a lecture at the same that time. Might help Maybe we can work that in as well. Okay, that's the next let's Harvard study. Let's set Harvard onto that All next. Right, Dr. Malika, thank you so much. Always much more here on CBSBoston.com.